Archie, get him! Good! We made it, Roxy! What'd you find, honey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's little minnows. They hang out in this little pool right here. Well, we're back at it. Oh, the wife's trying to catch some minnows. Get him, Rox! Get him! Launching the beast. Gonna go collect rocks. Roxy's loving it. Roxy, you look like a beaver. <laughs> nice. Looking good. Looking really shallow is what it's looking like. But that's money.
Roxy, what are you doing? Oh, look at there. Been here about four seconds. She already found a stick. Good job. Well, we found a little gravel bar. Uh, yeah. We're just going to chill out. Find some cool rocks. Um, this is just going to be kind of a weird little compilation video of uh, jet boating. I hope you guys like the view from the nose of the boat. Might, uh, well, I don't have any other sticky mounts with me, actually. But it's just going to be a drone video and nose boat video. And I might throw this on my chest, actually, and get some stuff. Go get it, rocks! Go get it! Oh, yeah. Pretty sweet. Hot day. <laughs> oh, Roxy. Hi, honey. Hi. Was that fun? Oh, look at there. She's already finding rocks. Got to get her bucket out. Roxy's enjoying herself. No. Oh. Roxy. What are you doing? The old boat. She's a trooper. And as long as you're on plane, I mean, ankle deep, six inches. I try to not go any shallower than that, but it is uh, pretty impressive how, uh, how shallow it can get. I still need to, it does splash a little bit of water up in the back, so I, uh, I need to raise the motor up, actually. I can't go up much more. Um, let me give you a rundown here. We'll just start at the front. Um, got the 74 pound thrust, uh, 24 volt Minn Kota. It's an old one, it's a Minn Kota Maxim. Roxy, don't eat weird stuff, weirdo. Um, just threw down some square uh, aluminum uh, square tubing to raise that up. Um, I put in some Amazon hatches so I could put the batteries up front here, kind of distribute the weight a little bit. Um, I just stand down here. So it's a mess right now. I got sh stuff everywhere. Um, the Millennium Marine seats are freaking awesome. I have them on swivel bases that clamp on. Uh, I have two of them. I took one off, but um, uh, with two of them on there, it gets kind of crowded. I don't know. I might uh, rework that somehow. But um, anyways, yep, 24 volt trolling motor, two deep cycle batteries in the hatches there, plus life jackets, first aid kit. Some other random stuff. Uh, Lenny Marine seats. Uh, aluminum signs for a floor with um, Amazon EVA foam, sticky foam. In hindsight, I should have bit the bullet and spent the money and got the fancier um, hydro turf, but this has been on here. Oh, this will be the second summer, so I mean, it's held up pretty well. Where the seats were mounted because i usually have one seat on each side of this middle bench um the bolts from the clamp on swivel base kind of messed it up but other than that it's pretty good i mean i've uh, simple greened it and scrubbed it a couple times but um yeah aluminum sign floor with uh rib nuts uh, re uh clamped into the ribs and then it's bolted down so i can pull it out if i need to which i might do that Toward here towards the end of the summer before we get into duck season I might pull the floor out and give it a good cleaning pressure wash it put it back down I need to cover up these two sides I want to build two uh, uh, storage lockers on each side that's why I didn't put the foam on this side because that was going to be my the, where the foam is was going to be my walkway and then I was going to have two storage boxes on each side which I would like to do eventually but ain't going to happen anytime soon so yeah, and then this is where the magic happens back here. Uh, six and a half gallon tank, which I want to upgrade to a 10 maybe if I can find one that'll fit. I got a little transom support post there, so it's kind of, yeah, kind of in the way. But uh, yeah, can't forget old glory. Um, and then uh, the old Johnson 40. It's a 4028 Jet Runner. Um, it's an original um, from the factory with a jet lower unit. Um, and then I have a, uh, that was a Vance Manufacturing jack plate. Um, 
like I said, I need to raise it up a hair, which I don't think I'm going to be able to raise it up much more. So these are the adjustment screws. I need, it needs to go up oh, a half inch, maybe. Not even. Um, and actually, this is the wrong jack plate. Um, the Where the motor mounts, um, it was too narrow, so I put a huge chunk of aluminum in there, bolted it all the way through the uh, jack plate, and then got rid of the clamps and just went with big ass three quarter inch bolts so it ain't going anywhere gets the job done on a boat that's only rated for 25 horsepower we have 28 yeah perfect three over can't get in trouble for three over i haven't gotten stopped yet on the river and inspected or checked out but i don't think the uh sheriffs or the state troopers would care too much but uh, she needs some new stickers. I need to get a cover for it. Um, actually, I want to peel the stickers, camo paint it, and then do a new sticker kit. But I'd like to paint the whole boat, but eh, maybe later down, down the road. It works for now, but yeah. Other than that, it's a 1648 with a 4028 Johnson two stroke motor and it is awesome like as you can see well you'll be you'll definitely be able to tell from the drone footage it's pretty shallow I mean the main main part of the river is fine but there's basically a couple little channels that are a foot deep to get to the next big wide section but um, other than that man there is some really shallow spots the rock bars everywhere come winter time all this will be underwater and there'll be big ass trees like that floating down the middle of the river but yeah enjoy the sun while we can right honey yep you want to play fetch roxy where's your stick go get it yeah i can't tell how do you tell if it's recording